May I speak to Mr. Roach, please? Hello? Hello, Mr. Roach? Yes. Mr. Roach, my name is Elmer Pintar. I am calling from Cleveland, Ohio. I represent the big business tent of the Sons of the Desert. I call just to offer congratulations on all of your accomplishments and motion pictures throughout all the years. I am 33 and I'm very fortunate to have this moment just to speak to you and to congratulate you. I grew up many years uh, uh, watching the comedies that you made all the time. Uh, we have a get together next week and we're going to watch a couple of the Laurel and Hardy features and everything and, and it really brings people together. Uh, in a social way to watch them, and we know that you're so accountable for, you know, the pleasure that we've had. Well, what is it you want of me? I just wanted to talk to you and congratulate you. I really don't have any questions to ask because Mr. Ban and Mr. Screvit have, have done that through their books, and, you know, the opportunity to speak to you is... is I can hardly hear you. The opportunity to speak to you is very rewarding. I I do have just one question before I you know before I go off and and I guess when I went to the convention, the people were so friendly. The people were so friendly. The celebrity guests that were there, it gives me the feeling of what it must have been like to have been on the lot uh, to making the pictures and how friendly. Everybody was with each other. I see. And well, uh, uh, as I again, what do you want uh, of me? I really just wanted the opportunity to speak to you for a moment. I, I did write a letter to you not too long ago asking for an autograph picture. Uh, and that's really about the only thing that I would have asked <laughs> as far as anything. Uh, I guess what do you what do you feel is your is the biggest achievement that you've made as a as a motion picture producer? What is the what is that again? What do you feel is the biggest achievement that you have made, sir, as a motion picture producer? Oh, I don't think it's any particular one thing. I mean, I think the Laurel and Hardy mm -hmm. pictures were well liked. I think the R Gang, now the little rest. My favorite. And going back a long time, Harold Lloyd was a very popular comedian. Mm -hmm. My favorite uh, Laurel and Hardy movie is The Devil's Brother, Fra Diavolo, which was the opera. Yeah. And uh, that was, I think, my favorite because it had it was a very classy production, and it was uh, you know an enjoyable thing to watch as well as to laugh at. And I know that. Uh, you directed that picture, if I remember yes, correctly. That was one of the few Laurel and Hardy that I did direct. Mm -hmm. But when I was a kid in Elmira, New York, Claudia Avalo played in a theater there, and I was impressed with it. Yeah, the little operetta that was written many, many years ago oh, until yes. you and Charles Rogers and everyone else came along and made a good revision of it for the public, for the comedy public and everything. I, I'm sorry. Years ago, when the, I was in Paris, I went to see the picture of in French. Yes, sir. The audience uh, in Bradiavolo uh, as the chorus sang, the whole audience sang with them. Oh, All my goodness. The music. Yeah, ba -da, ba -dee -da -da, goes like that a little bit, I think. <laughs> the, um... I went, I made a flight out there last December, and I was very fortunate to uh, meet Roy Seawright. And we went over to Culver City one day and looked at a lot of all the old location film sites. Oh, yeah. And we went to Culver City, we went to the Hal Roach Park over there, where they have that little park in front of, which was your studios. And uh, I guess it was Mr. Seawright's first visit to the studio since he was an employee there. And uh, we went around and we looked at the big business house, and you know we all know your famous story about that. And uh, I was very tickled to to see some of the sites and the perfect day house. And and I know it's many years ago, but 
I've only gotten to see these movies uh, in the last 10 years or so, and it's new to me. And it, it, just, it just shows how, how your movies have withstood the test of time, and, and they're so well received today. Why are you here home? In Cleveland, sir. I see. I live in Cleveland. I am calling from Cleveland. And I just went to my very first convention a few weeks ago. I had met Mr. Band for the very first time, and, and Randy uh, Screvit I had met last December. And uh, again, it was so congenial that uh, I don't think I ever experienced meeting a nicer group of people. And I can't wait till the one in Florida two years from now. They're going to have one in Florida. Uh, well, anyway, Mr. Roach, I really want to thank you. I, again, you know, it's... My uh, daughter, who is on vacation, takes care of uh, the, my fan mail. Mm -hmm. So you'll probably get your photograph soon. Right. He won't be back until next week. Do you think uh, a Little Rascals series could be done over today? Do you think they could make a new Little Rascals Our Gang series? So I didn't quite get your question. Do you think they could make a new Our Gang Little Rascal series, Mr. Roach? Oh, uh, we're talking about it now. The thing that is difficult that nobody understands is that when we made the Our Gang pictures, uh, they were two real comedies. And it took us a month to make one. And it took us a month to make a two real Laurel and Hardy comedy and they cost about as much money. Well, I mean, there's no market for them in the theater anymore. That is for short companies. And on television, it's just too expensive to make that kind of a picture. I mean, if you made it for television, you would have to make it in a half hour a week. And uh, actually, the our gang company took a half hour, but it took us a month to make them. Mm -hmm. I see, and... I mean, I'm mm -hmm. working on a thing now that has to do with an hour television show, which is part our gang. But uh, I haven't done anything directly about it. Mm -hmm. But I mean... Uh, so many people, they say, oh, why don't you make a, a half-hour show right. with the, the R gang? Well, as I say, they don't know that those things cost a lot of money in compared to the money that you have for television. Right. Plus and, the... I'm sorry. And it would just be impossible to make a half-hour with the R gang in a week. I mean, it would take, even today, at least two weeks. The best thing about the convention is it wasn't just Laurel and Hardy. They played Thelma Todd, Patsy Kelly, they played Billy Gilbert comedies, a lot of the things that we don't see on TV enough. And it was a pleasure. They had uh, Thelma Todd, uh, all into the wee hours of the morning they were playing these, and, and you couldn't get enough. Tracy Tolzman, the convention chairman, did, a, did just a marvelous job. Well, thanks for calling. I want to thank you very much for your time, Bye. and congratulations. Bye. Goodbye.